what I'm about to address to you, I wasn't even going to talk about until I saw Vicky Dilla do a live stream talking about this. She talked about two different things, but this is one of the things she talked about. And then I saw the way I originally saw this was um, somebody, I think, shared it or retweeted it from two weeks page and they tagged me in it. And let me tell you right now, the people over at Black Enterprise, especially the one I'm going to talk about, is reaching real hard right now with this narrative that they put out there. And I swear, I think they are the only publication that put this out there because I haven't seen this put anywhere else except for Black Enterprise. So according to Black Enterprise, this person you see on your screen, who we have come to know as Roly Poly Martin, is reaching more black Americans with news than anyone else in the U.S. And I'm talking about anybody. That means that he's reaching more people than Tariq Nasheed. He's reaching more people than Phil, well, formerly Phil of the Avai Show. Well, he's still over there, but it's not called the Avai Show. It's called the Afri- African Diaspora News. He's reaching more people than Professor Black Truth. He's reaching more people than myself and Lisa Cabrera and anybody else who does, you know, the type of stuff that we discuss in then some, according to the Black Enterprise. Only according to them, though, because you won't find this on any other uh, platform. They're the only ones that say that are saying this. And they're writing this stuff down as if we're supposed to take that and internalize it as factual information this is all opinion based i will never forget when i was uh when roland martin i guess was having some kind of a live stream and we had went over there to see what his numbers was looking like and this is that when roland had like a few hundred thousand subscribers tell me why this man didn't even crack 20 live viewers and that's when i had made up or put into my mind that this man probably most likely purchased his subscribers, which can definitely be done. None of them were organic, or a vast majority of them weren't. And don't get me started on the time that he has some kind of panel discussion on his show where everyone else was dressed professional and he wants to come up there wearing some basketball shorts looking like he just rolled out the bed. Roland Martin is the epitome of a true buck dancer. And you know how sometimes we always tell, we say that people are buck dancing. We're just saying that as a figure of speech. No, Roland Martin literally buck dances every chance he gets. I saw a video of him buck dancing the other day wearing something. (laughs) And my goodness, he looked like one of them goddamn penguins off Happy Feet. That's exactly what he looked like. A flightless bird. He operates like a flightless bird and he thinks like a flightless bird and talks like one as well and always stuttering all over the damn place like he's Porky Pig, Porky Pig from Looney Tunes. Now, let me go ahead and read this article coming from Black Enterprise. It says, according to National Urban League President Mark Moriel, Roland Martin reaches more black Americans daily than anyone else in the United States via his streaming platform, hashtag Roland Martin Unfiltered. Martin, a veteran broadcaster and journalist, just celebrated his one-year anniversary of Roland Martin Unfiltered in October. The platform has over 100.7 million views and 435 million minutes consumed across the social networks of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Phil over the Vice show has way, way, way more than that. I mean, I mean, the African diaspora news. He has way more than that. African Americans are tired of mainstream media ignoring the many issues impacting us on a daily basis, said Martin. I conduct interviews with newsmakers and stream content related to criminal justice, health, politics, and other topics that are extremely important to the black community. You wouldn't know that based on how he be acting around certain people. My program fills the void left by mainstream media's lack of resources and time to dedicate ongoing coverage of the myriad of issues facing African-Americans. Martin was previously anchor and managing editor of News One Now, a daily news television show that aired on Urban One's TV network, TV One. The show ran for four years and at one point had expanded to two hours before the show was canceled in 2017. Roland Martin is one of the most important, allegedly, 
Voices in Black America Today, says Moriel. His insight and no-nonsense approach to bringing news and opinion to, for, and about Black America is a welcome alternative to the sameness of other of many other journalists. His voice is respected. That's well, that's up for debate. Vital and essential. And you know what that part where they said his insights and no nonsense approach for bringing the news and opinion to for and about black America. Uh, no, 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 not that part where he says that he's the most important voice. One of the most important voices of black America today that can definitely be debated. According to a report by Horowitz Research, African-Americans watch more television as compared to all other audiences. Almost three quarters of black TV viewers reported that they stream some of their television content. Black wa- blast watching television news reflects an older population, primarily over 60 years of age. People who watch my show via streaming are usually between 18 and 55 years of age. We're developing strategies to attract baby boomers and millennials to ensure everyone receives news from an explicitly African-American perspective. Yeah, if they want to be brainwashed into... Uh, buck dancing with Hillary Clinton while she got hot sauce in her swag bag. I'm sh- go right on ahead, cause that's all he does, and he walking around with that damn ascot, covering up the fact that he ain't got no neck. Like he, look at this picture, right? He got that ascot on right now, high in the fact he ain't got no neck. And then he's always down there at Essence Festival in New Orleans every July. Who can take Roland Martin seriously? Can, I, this is very obvious what they're trying to do. See, Roland Martin has been campaigning to get back at CNN ever since he got fired for those comments he made all those years ago. Granted, what he said should not have gotten fired because it wasn't that deep. It wasn't serious whatsoever, but they took it that way. He didn't run anything over there, so they let him go. They probably been trying to find a way to get him out of there, and that was the way they, they were able to do it. Then he goes over to Kathy Hughes over at TV One. They give him his show, which I'm not even going to lie. In the beginning, I did watch his show because I, because I said we needed a uh, a black news media um, show that was on TV. And I actually did watch it. But then he lost his way over the years. And when he started bringing people in like that damn Cancer Phillips, I can't, ooh, I can't stand that skank. And some of them other people, like, it, it became blatantly obvious. And then I think what the straw that broke the camel's back was when he had Umar Johnson on there and his whole panel just piled on top of him. But then he had Richard Spencer on the show, what was it, a few weeks earlier, and he had a one-on-one with him, and Richard Spencer was dancing circles around his buck dancing ass. And he was being so soft spoken, talking about uh when Richard Spencer asked him, Is he a black man? He gonna come back and say, No, I'm a Christian. But when Umar Johnson had gone on there and he was being like and he was talking about what he was talking about, it he got ganged up on by his whole panel and Roland Martin. But then Roland Martin wanted to claim his blackness when Cancer Phillips started to ask him about say, or say something about black men need to take their responsibility for the role they play in rape culture. And then that's when he wants to throw out the fact that he's a black man or that he's black. I listen, I cannot take this fool serious whatsoever. But then again, neither can anyone else. This little piece that was written up by Black Enterprise. It's some BS. It's trash. It's garbage. It's not true. I don't know many people who watch Roland Martin. And now that he's been regulated to YouTube, like he's literally at his, he's literally at the bottom of his career. He can't go any lower than this. The only only lower he can go past this is probably doing podcasting in which he just says, like talks about things and he's not being seen. And even people who do podcasting, do are more successful in my opinion than he is. It's some people's podcasts who I listen to a whole lot faster than I would ever watch any of his little shows that come on, on his YouTube channel. But they putting that out there because they're trying to make it seem like Roland Martin is the only quote unquote black voice that is out there right now. I don't know any of my subscribers who have come to me and say, Torian, go over there and listen to what Roland Martin is talking about on, on his show. It's very poignant. It's very important. It's very vital. And maybe you can do a response to what he said. None of my subscribers are telling me that. 
None. Because they don't watch him. They don't watch that show. There's nothing to gain from it except laughter. Because he is parading himself around as a court jester. And I think he actually prides himself on that. But this little piece that was written up and typed up by a uh, um, uh, black enterprise. Yeah, they can go sit the hell down somewhere with that. And who was this guy? This uh, this Mark Morio, the National Urban League president. Right. He, he needs to watch some more people. And see, the thing is, Roland Martin is not going to hit on certain points the way I or any of the other people that I mentioned talked about. He's not going to touch on those points because he doesn't want to uh he doesn't want to piss off his masters. He doesn't want to p- piss off his puppet master. That man is on some strings and he does not want his strings to be cut cuz he cuz you know, he's already been cut before and now he has some new strings. Roland Martin is only going to go as so far as they're going to allow him to go. And that's not very far at all. So if that's what makes him the most liked or the most watched or the one who who uh, reaches more black people, then he's not reaching very far. He has a very limited reach with a very limited scope of things. See, we could easily take whatever Roland Martin puts out there and debunk it. And we can really analyze way better than he ever could. And he has been doing this for years. And the fact of the matter is, he's now, like I said, been regulated down to our level, which is being on online. Something he just got into doing, what, last year? So... Yeah, like I don't I don't take this article seriously. I don't take Roland Martin seriously. Not many people do, but they're overinflating his numbers to make it seem like he's better than what he is. And trust me, when I tell you he is not. He's not. He only goes as far as a certain sector will allow him to go, and he knows that. And I have a feeling right now that if the election next year doesn't go the way that he wants it. He's going to get on his platform. And he probably going to bitch and whine on a live stream and talk about how we are like ADOS is this and this, that and the third for hours about why people that he wanted to win did not win. Because he did the same shit when Hillary lost. Wash, rinse, goddamn repeat. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.